For the final edition of our series, we're going to cover the basics of outdoor sport climbing and suggest other equipment that you're going to need as you progress into your climbing outside. The target audience for this video is going to be for climbers that have a strong understanding of the fundamentals of rock climbing and are looking to push themselves on real rock. Disclaimer. Any climbing gear or climbing techniques that are mentioned in the series should not be considered official advice. Please seek the guidance of certified climbing guides when you're learning the ropes. The first thing you're going to need when you start leading outside is your own set of quick draws. Quick draws are basically two non-locking carabiners that are tied together through what we call a dog bone, which is a small, thick sewn sling. Quick draws are needed when you start lead climbing outside as they allow you to safely progress from the bottom of the climb to the top, clipping in as you go to protect you from falls. Different quick draws will have been designed with specific use cases in mind. So in the product line, that's gonna result in varying width, length, and materials that are used in the dog bone, and most notably, different carabiners that are used on either side of the quick draw for different combinations. A great example of your first quick draw that you're looking to buy would be this Black Diamond Hybrid Hot Forge, as it's the perfect quick draw for a one-size-fits-all quick draw quiver. It's light enough, thanks to its wire gate carabiner and its slim profile, but it's also beefy and ergonomic enough to withstand serious use. A step up from the Black Diamond Quick Draw would be something like the Pezzel Gin Axis, which is a slightly sportier alternative thanks to its larger full gate carabiners and the rope side carabiner having a slight bend in it, which makes it slightly more pleasant to clip. When you're just starting off, I would strongly recommend buying a six pack of quick draws if you know that you're gonna be bundling up your quick draws with other climbers. In the event that you'll be climbing alone or no one that you know has gear that you can bundle up with, I'd strongly recommend buying at least two six packs of quick draws as the vast majority of sport climbs outdoors will require 12, if not more, quick draws. Now we're going to be covering some of the gear that we have here at Betablock that was not mentioned in any of our previous videos as they might have more specific use cases. In our top rope anchor videos, we briefly covered slings but didn't go into too much detail about alternative materials for slings such as Dyneema. Dyneema is becoming an increasingly more common material used in climbing equipment as seen in this Pirano sling by Petzl as it's incredibly light and strong, it's also more expensive. And typically, it's going to be used in more advanced forms of climbing, such as trail climbing, where they're going to use as alpine quick draws, or building light and efficient anchors in mountaineering and albinism. You might have noticed that we haven't actually covered any non-locking carabiners yet. Truth is, non-locking carabiners are not that useful when you're starting out, as they only come in handy when you're building more advanced anchors and practicing more advanced forms of climbing where you have a better understanding of the risks that are associated. It could also be worth grabbing a couple non-locking carabiners just to carry around on your backpack as they always come in handy at some point. Last but not least, we have guide style blade devices. Guide style blade devices are the exact same as the tube style blade devices that we've previously covered in our video series with the addition of what we might refer to as the guide loop. The guide loop is used to clip directly into an anchor for top managed belays and is typically used in the context of multi-pitch and guiding scenarios for providing a more ergonomic and arguably safer belay. Using a guide style belay device in the mode that it was intended for does have many more caveats that require quite a lot of experience and prerequisite understanding. Thank you for tuning in to this four part video series. We hope that you found this video series useful in navigating the equipment that you need in your climbing journey. As always, go out there, have fun, and stay safe. If you're interested in any of the items that we covered today, make sure to pass by Betablock to check out our selection of gear, as well as ask any questions that you might have about it.